Okay, so Rush is on a gold standard. What do we actually think about that? Maybe we should start with whether or not it's actually true. So if you've spent any time watching YouTube videos lately about gold, you've probably run across a story or two of Russia being on a gold standard. At least you saw it pop up in the comments maybe. Well, like most things around here, a few people jumped to a few conclusions and maybe got a little bit ahead of the facts. So I figured that maybe we should walk through what actually happened. I'll just assume that we all know about the situation in Ukraine that's led to sanctions against Russia and start with Russia setting a fixed price for gold. They set that price at 5,000 rubles per gram and they announced that they would buy gold at that rate for three months, April, May, and June. Now, if you look at the current price of gold denominated in US dollars and the current value of the ruble, well, that's well below market value. I think 5,000 rubles per gram, depending on the day and how you look at it, that amounts to about $1,600 per ounce. Right now in US dollars, it's more like 1930. And the next part of the story is that Russia's central bank, the Bank of Russia, began buying gold again at that new rate. So they'd stopped buying it in 2020. So now they're picking up domestic gold at a discount from miners and producers and local banks who really don't have an outlet for their gold because of those new sanctions. And that includes the sanctions coming from U.S. and allies that are banning all gold-related transactions with any Russian entity. So Russia's next move was to require payment for commodity exports to be made in rubles or gold. I think the way that they put it was that they wanted hard currency. And to them, that is gold. Or what's convenient to them, that of course is the ruble. So any payment made in gold would be equal to 5,000 rubles per gram. So if that 5,000 rubles can buy a gram of gold, well then the ruble has a fixed floor that it hypothetically can't go below because the ruble can be converted to gold. Now, that would increase the value of the ruble because of the demand for it to make those purchases, or it would increase the gold inflows to the central bank. Probably it would do both. So even though the country is not on a gold standard, the value of the ruble is linked to the value of gold. Again, that gives their local currency that hypothetical fixed floor. And since the ruble can be converted to gold, which then has a dollar denominated global value, well, it has a stronger premium on it because of the ruble-denominated discount. Does that make sense so far? Okay, so this is where people are making a pretty big leap. A possible next step would be to directly peg the ruble to gold in like a Bretton Woods type of model, but that has not happened yet. And that would require Russia's central bank, first of all, to have enough gold to do so, so that June 30th date, that their central bank is committed to buying gold through, that's going to be a date to watch. At least it'll be a date to watch if something big doesn't happen between now and then. Now in the meantime, Russia's retail demand for gold has increased dramatically. Russian citizens aren't able to use brokerages to sell foreign-owned securities. They're not able to use them to convert to other currencies. They're not able to transfer money outside of Russia. And then the government is actually encouraging that domestic retail purchase of gold. So the U.S. and allies banning Russian international transactions in gold, well, it hasn't really done much, at least not to the sentiment for gold inside Russia. And if you're curious, by the way, the most popular gold product being purchased is the Kilo Bar. So these coins are rookie numbers, I guess. I'm not sure any of that changes my mind on what to buy, but if you're serious about preserving wealth, I guess go big. Okay, so let's call it good there. This is a shorter video, but this is really a story that's still in the opening chapters. We're gonna have to wait and see how it goes. So anyone telling you right now that Russia is on a gold standard today, telling you that the new world order is underway, well, they don't follow the specifics of what's actually happened and what could happen. And we all understand though that it's just a more compelling story if it's exaggerated. Okay, so let us know what you think about the possibility of the ruble being pegged to gold or if you think that last step is just a little bit unlikely. And while you're there, hit that like button if you found any of this interesting and make sure you're subscribed if you're into the topic of precious metals. If you're still here, thank you again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.